What's going on, everybody? Jeff Holliday here, and today we're back playing all the mods 9, and we're going to be doing some magic. We're going to get into occultism. Now, uh, before we do, a couple of updates here on the base. I moved Bill, Bill the Bee, Bill the Bees, uh, here into one of these with a simulator upgrade. So they don't even come out anymore. We got two of them. I bred another one, got their little block of netherite. And then what I did was I came down here. And I now have a fluid drawer with honey. Uh, the netherite scraps are there. Spruce drawer is there. And all of the outputs should be coming into here. And then traveling along and getting deposited where they need to go. Um, it's very slow. Even with two bills, it's pretty slow. But I don't use it very often. I just wanted to have it so that I wasn't going to have to worry about it later. <clears throat> now, Occultism. I have never played this mod. I've never watched a mod spotlight on it. I, I know nothing about it except that I use the summoning circles. And for some reason, we're having a graphical glitch where I can't see this terminal. It's really weird. Like, I'm seeing, I can't see those. <sighs> it's weird. It's super weird. But whatever. We got our book, Dictionary of Spirits. I already clicked on the first one about using the Dictionary of Spirits. Aims to introduce the novice reader to the most common Sure. Lifting the veil. Learn about the other world in the third eye. Hidden from mere human eyes exists another plane of existence, another dimension, if you will. The other world, popular with entities often referred to as demons. Now, demons dream is an herb that gives humans the third eye, allowing them to see the other world intersects with our own. Seeds can be found by breaking grass, consuming the grown fruit, and activates the ability. Uh, and so you're able to harvest other stone as well as other world trees. So that's what we have to do to proceed. No world materials in the I can be obtained more easily using spirit fire. Spirit fire. Okay. Huh. Uh, spirit fire. Special type of fire that exists mostly in the other place and does not harm living beings. Special properties allow to use to purify and convert certain materials by burning them without consuming them. Throw demons fruit. Throw demons dream fruit to the ground and light it on fire with flint and steel. Okay, okay. Well, look, we've got some demons dream uh, just down here. I, in anticipation of doing this a while ago, I planted some Demon's Dream. <laughs> um, I don't know how much we're going to need, but... Whoa. Whoa. But I don't know where <clears throat> any other stone is going to be. This is a little bit... Ah, it doesn't last very long either, does it? Okay. That's all right. Well, I'm thinking we are going to do a lot of automation and stuff up here, but I think for now what we can do is we're going to go ahead and uh, start doing our occultism, occultism stuff here because I haven't made like a dedicated place for it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and go cacao. All right. So we got some spirit fire. Now... Uh, I think we can get rid of our flint and steel for now. We need... I, I think it's... I think we can do spruce logs. And let's get some stone. Also, while we're here, we should cook up some more stone. Throw it in here. All right, let's see what happens when we check this stuff in here. I, I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious, you know. Uh, let's go. Boom. Is that, is that working? I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's look. Uh, other stone, other saplings. Oh, it has to be andesite? Oh, it has to be andesite. Oak sapling, oak sapling, uh, other world wood, huh? And spirit of tune gem. Well, that's pretty easy. Okay. Well, we need andesite. 
Um, I don't know if I really have very much of that, to be honest with you. I, uh, I've managed to get through without having to do a whole lot of, uh, mining lately. Like, it's been a while, not since, you know, I was over there. Uh, andesite? Nope. No andesite. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, let's go find some. That shouldn't be that hard. <coughs> wow. My cough is bananas lately. Um, yeah. So there was some pretty big caverns. I don't want to go all the way down there because, well, yeah, no, I'm not really sure. There's a big, big crack and, uh, nope, nope, that's tough. Uh, 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 this is Andesite. All right. Give me that. Nice. Nice. Cool. Is that more Andesite? Ah, oh, that was tough. I don't want tough. I want my, I want my Andesite. And, 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 Andesite. And, 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 there we go. All right, that's that was pretty easy, pretty easy. Uh, and I just have to figure out how to get out of here. I can't remember which way I go. Do you remember? Oh, this way. And while we're here, we should also see if we have some uh, oak saplings that we can throw in there too. One. Hey, hey. I think I could just make oak saplings with my uh, my mystical essence. If I was smart, I would actually set up stone seeds, which are like the most basic, basic of seeds. But you know what? Being smart, it's not my jam, baby. It's not my jam. Mm -mm. Hey. 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 Cool. So we have some other stone, and we have a demon's dream tree, I guess. I don't know. Uh, oak sapling. Boom. Okay. Do we have any, uh, bone meal? No, we don't. Okay. That's all right. Boink. Uh, all right. Back to our book. Uh, we can also make a, yeah, we need to get other world ashes, but we have to have the wood first. Uh, and we know how to make a spirit of tune jam. We just throw a diamond in. Okay. That's easy. Yeah. 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 No problem. Um, let's see. Divination rod. To make it easier to get started, the materials obtained by divination now have crafting recipes. If you want a, the full experience, skip the following recipe page. Move on. Nah, I mean, like, you know. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Other world materials play and roll. Allows to find other world materials based on similarities to materials. Uh, sure, yeah. Let's make one of those. Why not? We should. This way, if we need to, we can use this to uh, scry, I guess. I guess. I need a bunch more. Nope, I guess we don't. <laughs> uh, hopefully we have enough sticks. I think we do. Boing. Thank you. Divination, divination, divination. Divination rod. Boom. Cool. We have a divination rod. Next. Shift right click a block to attune the rod to the corresponding other world block. Um, oh, okay. And there's also some ore that you can get in Netherrack, I guess. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. Otherworld saplings can only be obtained by breaking the leaves manually, naturally only oak uh, saplings drop. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, candles, the third eye. Let's try the third eye. Um, very affordable alternatives, consumption of certain herbs, demon's dream. Sure, these goggles allow you to see even more hidden otherworld blocks. However, they do not allow harvesting those materials. Lower tier materials can only be harvested by consuming Demon's Dream. Well, I mean, <clears throat> the nice part about that is that it allows you to at least see them, I guess. 
But in order to make the infused lenses, we have to do a golden, we have to do a, a, a ritual, which I don't know how to do yet. So, yeah. Healing spirit, strike click a spirit with demon stream fruit to heal it. Okay, cool. That's good. Candles. Candles provide stability to rituals and are an important part of almost all pentacles. Candles act, also act like bookshelves for enchantment purposes. Candles from Minecraft or other mods may be used. Uh, we need tallow for that. We know how to get that. I was screwing around with uh, with candles before. Cool. Um, ritual preparations. Chalks. White chalk is used to draw the most basic pentacles, such as... Okay. Uh, you need to get higher chalk if you... Oh, and you know what? We need the other world ashes and uh, burnt other stone. I guess you can smelt these. Yeah, so we're going to have to smelt some of these just for the, the purposes. Uh, you make the impure, you throw it in, it makes it clean. So we're going to need the ashes, and we're going to need some of this stuff cooked up. Let's do 16. And let's see if we have a tree yet. Uh, I don't know. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right well i'm gonna wait for that tree to grow um because i i really don't have anything else going on today i i really just want to focus on occultism i don't want to get distracted trying to record this video uh so i'll just uh i'm gonna go ahead and wait for that tree to grow and then we'll be back all right well we have ourselves a tree so i guess what we have to do you can see it says in the tooltip occultism 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 uh but it looks just like a regular tree unless we eat this I guess it's supposed to let us then harvest it. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> I screwed that up. You have to break the leaves first if you want to get the saplings. Okay, that's silly. But you know what's cool though is I do now know for a fact that bone meal. Uh, works on the occultism tree. So that's good to know. That's very, very good to know. Uh, let's go ahead and doink, doink, doink. All right. And let's go. I did make myself a Supremium Axe because I was just kind of tired of not really having an axe on me. Oh, yeah. No, that's the wrong elevator. I'm over here jumping like a dummy. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do this, and we go boink, boink. Hey, all right. Uh, Demon Dream Fruit. Does that work? It totally works. Okay, cool. That's good to know. All right. Uh, and then let's see how many of these we can make. Ah, uh, see. We gotta do it again, otherwise we're not gonna be able to get all of our stuff. We wanna try and get as much of this wood as possible. And we're gonna go boom. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Ugh, and all this random junk. Um, yeah, this stuff is not necessary. Nope, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Uh, or elderberry. Well, we got 23 otherworldly wood, which hopefully is enough to get started with some more stuff and things. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cook up six of these. Why is that not working? Should be, right? What was it? Candles. Um... Oh, 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 oh. We have to throw it into the, the fire. Into the fire. Okay, cool. All right, got that. Well, that'll work. Hey. So now we can make our chalk. Let's go chalk, 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 chalk. Chalk. Impure white chalk. Boom, got it. Throw this back up here with you, with you, into you, into that, into cool. All right. I know we're going to have to go and find some tallow here pretty soon. I don't think we have any others. I did make candles at some point, but I I might have just junked them. Uh, oh, no, I do have a bunch of the uh, the occultism uh, candles. Okay. Okay, okay. That's good. Don't just throw everything away, Jeff. Jeez. All right, cool, good, done. Uh, brush. 
right click of the brush you can move it easily from the world okay yeah that's just to make a brush so we can clean it we'll make a brush go ahead yeah why not brush brush brushy brushy brush thank you um sacrificial bowls there's no power without sacrifice so we need a bowl okay uh, I guess, and then we need to make it into a sacrificial bowl. Okay, okay, okay. So, bowl. 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 Good. Okay. <clears throat> ah. Books of Binding. To call forth the spirit, a book of binding must be used in the ritual. There's a type of book corresponding to each type or tier of spirit. To identify spirit to summon. Its name must be written in the book of binding. Um, okay. So we need some ink. Looks like we can use black dye. Throw it in there. Okay. That's easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we need black dye, white dye. Uh, dye. We already have one black dye. So let's just make a grip of white dye. Sure. Yeah. And we go boing. Hey, thanks for the ink. Doom, 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 doom. All right. Uh, binding, I think. Binding. Book of binding. Yeah. This is like the basic book and binding. Book of binding. Blah, 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 blah. Ink sack. <sighs> uh, yeah, I don't have squid seeds. I have to go hunt down a squid. It <laughs> <laughs> was the other one and a feather. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fine. All right. Well, we're gonna have to go and collect up some uh, some some bits and bobs. We need to go find some chickens. Like you, hi, bye. Uh, and I'm gonna have to go find uh, some some water. I know that it's a lot of water over here. Some big ocean stuff over here. Um, where is you know what? We'll just go to the cabin and then we'll uh, we'll hunt. We'll sleep and then we'll hunt for some squid. But uh, that's not gonna be the most entertaining thing in the world. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, so. Found a couple of squid, uh, got the basic stuff that we need. I have a bunch of stuff in my inventory. Too much stuff, one might say. Uh, I think we can actually just throw all this stuff in here that we don't immediately need. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, all right. So, book and quill. Yep. Boom, boom. Okay. Book of Binding Foliot. I don't know what this does. So, uh, this is how we make it. <clears throat> Add the name of the spirit to summon your Book of Binding by crafting it with the Dictionary of Spirits. The Dictionary will not be used up. Okay. And let's see. Book of Binding Jin Bound. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So that's how we 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 get it to summon a specific type of spirit. But we need to figure out books of calling allow you to control the summon spirit to restore it to prevent essence to decay. Only spirits require precise instructions. Uh, shift right click a spirit to capture it. Shift right click a block to apply the action. Uh, open your configuration screen. The book with the capture spirit. Okay. Um, hmm. <clears throat> okay. To store spirits that do not have a fitting book of calling, you can use a soul gem. Soul gems are much more versatile, allow to store all types of entities, even animals and monsters, but not players or bosses. Okay. First ritual. Here we go. These pages will walk the gentle reader through the process of the first ritual step by step. We start by practicing the golden sacrificial bowl and drawing the appropriate pentacle. Uh... Avi's circle as seen on the left around it. Okay. So we can put this here. Uh yeah, anchor. Cool. So we need to place our nope. 
We need to place our bowl. We need some candles. Okay. We need some chalk. How do you... I mean, it looks like it's upside down, but I think that's right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, ugh. <laughs> what is going on here? Why is that one the right direction? Oh, you know what? Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. I have to do it that way. This is so silly. Okay, okay. Well, here, let me let me just go ahead and do this. This is going to take a minute. Okay, well, cool. So I, uh, I just got done with the last one. It made a little ding and even said complete up at the top. I uh, probably should have started recording before I finished the last one, but that's okay. Uh, this is already set to foliot. Okay, I guess so. Aviar circle. Only the color and location of the chalk marks is relevant. Only the location, color and location of the chalk marks is relevant, not the glyph or sign. Are you serious? What? What? Okay, uh, well... <laughs> Next, at least four sacrificial bowls. Uh, sure. So we need more sacrificial bowls. Bowl. Bowl. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay. I'm going to be so mad if I seriously just did not have to get those exact. That's ridiculous. All right, so we got four. Now it's time to place the ingredients you see on the next page. Uh, in the regular, not golden sacrificial bowls, ingredients will be consumed from the bowls as the ritual progresses. We've got silver, copper, gold, and iron. Silver, copper, gold, and iron. Uh, I know that we've got a bunch of random ores in here. We've got gold, iron, copper, and... Silver. Okay. That's right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, ritual recipe pages, such as the previous page, show not only the ingredients, but also the pinnacle that you need to draw the chalk in order to show the pinnacle to click the blue link. Right-click the golden sacrificial bowl with the bound book of binding you created before and wait until the crusher spawns. Okay. Oh, so we're summoning a crusher. So we don't have a bound book yet, though. Right? Or do we? Do we need to... I don't know if we need to make, like, a very specific... Maybe we do? I don't think so. Because we just made... Yeah, we just made, like, our first book, which is just Foliot. Okay, I think that's probably fine. I think we can just go ahead and try and do this. Um, but we do have other ore that we want this thing to crush. You know, why not? Let's do it. I want to see what it looks like. Um, so we go up here, and we doink. Uh, doink. Doink and doink. And then we right click. Maybe. Hello, come in. Uh, hmm. First ritual. Okay, it's in there. Good. Right click the golden sacrificial bowl with the bound book. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boing. You must craft this book of the dictionary of spirits to bind a spirit before starting a ritual. Oh, so we do have to. Oh, right, right, right. We have to do this. Boom. Got it. Got it, got it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah. Is there like a progress bar? I don't know. Hmm? Hello? <laughs> uh... Do we just not see it because we don't have our... Oh, you know what? That's exactly what it is. Hang on. We can't see him because we don't have any demon stream. Oh, man. Uh, Maybe we have some in the system? I feel very silly. Demon stream. We do. All right. I mean, maybe he's just invisible? I don't know. Oh! Hello! Clee Clee! Hello, Clee Clee! That's adorable. Uh, I think we're going to need to, like, store him, so we need to be able to... Like, Pokeball him, you know? So, I think we do that with... Oh, look, he's, he's, he's making me stuff. Nice. I wonder how much we're going to get. Oh, he is a bit slow. Hmm. Can I sneak click him? Hmm. Is this decay 0%? Okay, sweet. I think he's fine just chilling there. But it looks like this will actually do or doubling, which is pretty neat, but very slow. Well, look, we made our first uh, little, little, little guy. Our first little guy. Not bad. Uh, more chalks. Better chalks or better rituals. Uh, 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 okay, that makes sense. Throw that in there for golden chalk. Uh, impure red. Afri to obtain the essence of an Afrit for red chalk, you need to summon and kill an unbound Afrit. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, other word, goggles. We do need to make these, though. Um, do, 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 do. Permanent third eye, allowing to view even blocks hidden from town. Uh, not give the ability to harvest other worlds. Um... And infuse pick, or even better, an Aeznium pick needs to be used to break blocks in order to bring their other world variants. Okay, crafting the lenses. Uh, it's glass lenses, and then it's the ritual of Luke Veldor. That's silver and gold. How do you do Luke Veldor? I don't know who that is. Elvius's Spectral Compulsion. Common starting point for object infusion with lower spirits. Enchantment is made permanent by stabilizing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, pretty basic. Pretty basic. Okay. Well, I don't know. Is that the same pattern that we just did? No, it's not. Nah, it's a different pattern. Okay. Well, I look, I think I might try and figure that out just so we can get the goggles or something, but this is a pretty good place to start. That's It's cute. It's really not that complex. Um, I also do want to experiment and see if you do have to do the right glyphs or not. I, the book kind of confused me. I don't know. Words are hard sometimes. Uh, but you know what? Welcome to the world, Cleekly. Very, very cute. Uh, so with uh, Cleekly and Bills the Bees... Uh, we we are we are slowly but surely starting to populate our base with uh, colorful characters. Although we don't ever see Bills the Bees, but that's okay. That's totally fine. Have they made me another ancient scrap yet? <coughs> that's gonna be a good question. Nope. Okay. <coughs> Check again later. Uh, but yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, that's a good place to start. We'll uh, we'll get into some more advanced stuff here in a little bit. Um, but you know, for now, like I think we're. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, uh, where? No, we gotta get, we gotta get him in here. There we go. All right, there's my little buddy. Uh, good enough for a screenshot. 
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today, guys. Like, I, I, I wanted to do something different where usually, like, I at least look into a, a mod spotlight so I know the basics of it. I wanted to go in totally blind and, and try out this mod because it looked really complex and interesting. And it, it does look interesting and complex, but, uh, you know, we'll get into some more advanced stuff with it uh, in the very next episode. So uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.